Now let's switch gears and talk a little bit more about Lamar Odom, but a different woman he was involved with. Her name is Tarai Henson, and I guess Lamar is accusing Chloe of being the reason why his relationship with Tarai never worked. Now, Lamar is shady here because he claims that he dated Tarahi, but their relationship failed after Chloe came into the picture. Lamar spilled the tea about his wrecked romance with Tarahi in an episode of TV One Uncensored. He claims he carried a picture with her while on the road. He was quoted saying that she gave him inspiration, a black woman working like that that's just as good at her craft as I am in my craft. He claims that their romance ended because he was an immature punk and he did not know how to tell her that he was interested in Chloe. I'm sure Chloe wasn't happy about this interview, but here's a snippet of Lamar sharing his story. I just wish I would have done things different with her. And she was a little older than me, but I learned a lot from her because that was the most significant relationship as a grown up that I had with a black woman. I used to carry a picture on the road with me. Don't nobody know that. Except for dudes that play with me, but she gave me inspiration. You know what I'm saying? A black woman working like that, that's just as good as her craft, that I'm as good as my craft. Just, she inspired me. Things ended with Taraji because of being, me being an immature punk. I didn't know how to tell her that I was falling in love with another woman named Khloe Kardashian. Now let's get back up to speed and talk about Tristan Thompson. And while Chloe and Tristan are acting like they aren't together, in the beginning, Tristan also had other love interests, not just Jordan Craig. Because Larsa Pimpin claims that she dated Tristan before she introduced him to Chloe. Now Larsa has her own issues, but she shared in an interview that she's the reason why they even know each other. She said, I was kind of seeing Tristan before Chloe, before Chloe or any of them knew he existed. I was seeing him, I had come to LA and I brought him to a party that Kim had, I introduced him to all of them. She said a week after she brought Tristan to Kim's party, they started hanging out and we started to see photos of them publicly together. She claims that she's not hurt that Tristan moved on from her relationship with him. She said, it's whatever. I'm the type of person that doesn't chase what's not for me. I'll never chase a man. I'll never put a leash on a man. I don't do that. Lars is claiming that if they love each other, then God bless, move on. She's probably the only person who's been cool with Chloe stealing their man in this entire video. But here is an interview of Larsa speaking on the situation. Well, I kind of was seeing Tristan before Chloe, before Chloe or any of them even knew he existed. I was seeing him. I had him come to L.A. I brought him to uh, a party Kim had. I introduced him to all of them. And then a week later, maybe 10 days later, he started seeing Chloe, which is fine. I don't even care. You know, it's just whatever. Like, I don't. I don't. Care. I'm the type of person I don't really like. I don't chase what's not for me. I will never chase a man. Did and Chloe know you were seeing Tristan? Tristan? Or dating? Yeah, I'm sure she knew. Yeah, I'm sure she knew. I brought him to an event. You know, one of Kim's events. Yeah. So you, were, you guys weren't like exclusive or anything. It was just like, hey, just having a good time? Yeah, we were, yeah, we were just, yeah. What are your thoughts on them being back together now? I mean, I love them together. I feel like they have a beautiful baby together and they need to work it out. And, you know, if they love each other, then God bless. You know. After Larsa did this interview, Chloe was upset for whatever reason. Honestly, Larsa has been the nicest out of all of this, but I guess she just kind of felt embarrassed. Chloe started sharing a spree of empowering posts on her social media. One quoted saying, you glow different when you're not hating, hurting, bitter, or messy. Another quote read, I cannot express this enough. You have no idea what other people carry with them every day. You have no idea what someone's life is like. Don't create more pain and stress to others. So she's trying to be shady to Larsa without probably trying to upset her. She shared another message that read, sit with women who are winning. The conversation is different. Many fans speculated that these quotes are related to Larsa's recent revelations and that Chloe is throwing some shade. It doesn't seem like these two are ever going to make up. One source told ET, Larsa and the Kardashian sisters are not friends anymore and have grown apart. The Kardashians felt Larsa wasn't bringing the best energy to their friendships and slowly drifted. No one has negative feelings towards one another, but they didn't see a reason to continue to stay close. Which is an interesting perspective because I feel like I have a lot of different friends and there's different friends for different reasons. Like you don't have to be best friends with every single person. Some people are better friends that you see out at the bar. Some people are closer to where you call them when you are in need or you want to tell them something personal. Like I don't think there's any real reason to end a friendship, which makes me 
think that the Kardashians are the bitter ones in this situation because Larsa wasn't even really hating. I mean, she's just calling a spade a spade. I mean, if Chloe is a homewrecker, that's what she is. But speaking of homewreckers, I wanted to end this episode by speaking on Ariana Grande and her relationship with Ethan Slater. Because recently, Ethan was at the courthouse because he had a divorce hearing from his high school sweetheart. Ethan Slater is keeping quiet on his love life with Ariana Grande, refusing to spill any relationship tea while stepping out of court after a divorce hearing. Remember that he cheated on his wife, Lily J, with Ariana Grande. They were together, I guess, ever since like high school. They have a brand new baby together and Ariana was able to sing him away from that relationship. Ethan didn't speak to any of the press, of course not, because they want to know everything, but he has been out and about going on dates with Ariana, acting like a normal couple. You would have no idea that these two were just married this year and now they're just full on together. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Ariana is engaged soon. Sources close to Ariana tell TMZ she's been having more fun and going out more often lately. We're told it's clear she feels safer and more able to be in this new relationship as we reported Ethan got we got Ethan leaving court last week after handling divorce and custody proceedings with his strange wife Lily J um and he just he looked pretty tight-lipped um I will say this y'all okay I know I gave Ariana and I will probably continue to give Ariana a whole lot of crap because she did she did like I mean he it was his marriage he was the one it's his fault but Ariana has a pattern of this I don't know what it is about Ariana Grande, but she's able to steal relationships, I mean, even better than Khloe Kardashian can. And we've seen her out about, she was recently at his Broadway show cheering him on. And of course we want everyone to be happy, but I kind of felt like they would have like stayed private a little bit longer because I don't think like the media has really healed from the bombshell of these two leaving their partners for one another. Here's a quick clip of Ariana leaving the show with Ethan. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. It actually turns out that she's been to a few of his shows already, and we've seen her in the crowd cheering him on and then leaving together every night, which makes me question how their schedule really works together so well. An insider told People that Ariana has been a big supporter of the production and already has plans to go again. They said that she has seen it at tech rehearsals oh she's been there at tech rehearsals she's a theater kid at her core so she has really been feeling at peace being around broadway it actually looks like she went to his performance with her brother frankie grande who looks a lot like ethan slater and i don't know if that's a good thing i mean in my opinion i don't think it's the best like compliment but whatever you know i'm not trying to be mean here's another clip of ariana in new york leaving with ethan and telling the fans that she doesn't want to hurt them or cause an accident because of the commotion around her and everyone trying to get a selfie. So it seems like Ariana is living her best life with her new man. She gets a new man every year, which I guess is good for her, but not good for the families involved. Her ex Dalton Gomez, though, is doing just fine. They filed for divorce and they reached a settlement. She had to pay him $1.25 million. I don't know why he's getting paid off so steep, but I'm sure he's never going to be able to speak about his relationship with her.